The busy streets of New York City got a taste of the future recently, where automakers and tech firms at the 15th World Congress on Intelligent Transport Systems showed off some of the latest innovations designed to increase road safety and reduce traffic. We've got a crisis in this country. 42,000 people a year die. Every American wastes over a week of time in traffic. And we, we spend $300 billion that we don't have to spend based on that congestion and based on those, those traffic fatalities. We're in a crisis situation, and it's technology that's going to transform that. On 11th Avenue outside the Javits Convention Hall, cars with the latest integrated safety features put on a show. They can talk to each other, to street lights, and even to your mobile phone. One of the amazing things that I've seen is the ability to have this device, you know, when you go into a crosswalk, be detected by a vehicle that's coming down the road so that it will avoid hitting you. When a pedestrian is detected, a pedestrian icon will be displayed as you see up there on the screen. From the street, it looked just like cars driving back and forth, stopping at red lights and switching lanes. Nothing futuristic about that. So I took a ride with the Mercedes team to get a closer look. You know, what we really hope is that every time the driver will take the safer course of action, they will always pay attention when they cross an intersection, but sometimes they might be distracted. And when that happens, the car lets the driver know. If that doesn't work... This is activated only in case of uh, dangerous situations. And at the same time that the car stops automatically, we will set up the car to be prepared for a crash. <laughs> but how do these vehicles talk to each other? We rely on information that's coming over the air. It's a new wireless technology that's been developed especially for vehicles. It's called DSRC, uh, dedicated short-range communications. We also combine the information from uh, other sensors that are on the car. Like these cameras mounted inside the car that can read street lights. It makes the transportation experience a lot more safe uh, because you can create vehicles that are discoverable to one another so they don't crash into each other. Essentially networking our cars, trucks, buses and other modes of transport, creating a real-life information superhighway. And the other thing that it does is it basically gives us better data about where uh, transportation resources are, where vehicles are, how fast they're moving, and, and that data can be used to help people plan their trips better, more efficiently, more effectively. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.